Good morning. My name is Ty Nguyen, and I'm here to show you how to shift into another parallel reality. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. Does parallel reality really exist? Oh, it's just some mumbo jumbo. Flash yourself this. The universe is infinite. So there's a parallel reality version of yourself that saw this video and did not click on it. And there's another parallel version of yourself that saw this video and is curious enough to click on it. Also, there's a parallel reality version of myself that feel like, why should I record this video? Nobody gonna listen to it. It's not important. On the other hand, there's a parallel reality version of me that feel like this information could benefit you. That's why I wake up out of bed, took a shower, and then record myself. I'm gonna go with this version. Okay, so here's how you jump into another parallel reality. Completely different from this one. The first step you do is use your imagination. Like Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Your conscious mind is limited. It only know the future based on past experience and it use that to predict the future. So if you have really bad past experience, then you wouldn't feel empowered to do something new. So here's what you do. You use your imagination. The best time to use your imagination is before you go to sleep or when you first wake up in the morning. This is when your brain is inside a theta state where your body is tired. It won't put up any resistance when you're trying to imagine something. So let's say you want to become a movie star. So when you use your imagination, do not visualize how, when, and why. That's a logical mind thinking. You'll come up with ways to say that you can't do it. So you visualize the end result as if you're already a movie star. So imagine yourself waking up in the morning as a movie star. What is the first thing a movie star do? Does he or she go do yoga, brush their teeth, read a movie script, or get into character for a movie role? Imagine all that. The more detail, the better. Because you want to utilize your sight, smell, touch, and most important, feeling. When you utilize all these senses, what you're doing is you're programming the subconscious mind, which is the mind of habit, to see it as it's real. It can't tell the difference between um, the present moment and a very strong imagination. So when you imagine stuff, imagine it in the present, like right now. Do not put a time and date into it. The subconscious mind doesn't really know about time and date. It just know about right now. So imagine yourself as a movie star waking up, do what a movie star do, have the thoughts that a movie star would, and just go through the daily routine of an already established movie star. Imagine it. And soak in that feeling of how great it is to be a big movie star. Once you do that, you slowly wake out of bed, and then you just have this elevated feeling like you're on top of the world. The key here is to keep that feeling with you as long as you can throughout your whole day, throughout the whole week. Do it for 21 days, okay? And what that would do is that would automatically make your subconscious mind give you kind of like a nudge, like a gut feeling or intuition to go do things that you normally wouldn't do. Like you might be driving and then you see an acting class and you're like, oh shit, I'm interested in going to this acting class. 
or you might watch a short film and you feel empowered to shoot a short film so you will go do all that and then you do it pretty much naturally and then keep on doing that and soon you'll become another parallel reality version of yourself